Hi, uh, my name is Stacy Dimbor and I really enjoy uh, growing palm trees. But one of my favorites is the Phoenix Canariensis. And I have one that has a frond that's pushing out. It hasn't unfolded yet and it's so cool. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, there's the top of it. I'll zoom in a little bit. Let's see, you can see how it's shaped and it hasn't unfolded yet. It's all the way down. Look how beautiful that is. It's all the way down to the center. Here's a pan back view of it. And you can see the center from emerging out of it. It's called the Canary Island Date Palm. It comes from the Canary Islands off from the coast of Africa. And they were brought over here. And here's my son's. I started that one from seed up in Washington State. I would just bring it in the garage during the winter and it would be dormant through the winter time and then I'd bring it out when it when there was no threat of freezing temperatures. Here's some windmill palm seedlings that I started from seed up in Vancouver, Washington State. A lady in downtown Vancouver gave me a cluster or a clump of seeds from hers. They can handle cold temperatures so you can grow windmill palms up in the northwest. And now let me show you the Canary Island Ape Palm seedling. There's a Canary Island Ape Palm seedling. It starts out as a single leaf they're monocots and then they continue to get one leaf after the other and about the fifth one they start getting the divided leaf or the frond with the leaf divisions so I have a bunch of windmills canaries and I have some Washingtonia robustas or the common name is the Mexican palm and I'm going from seed. Here's a Mexican palm or a Washingtonio, Washingtonia robusta, named after George Washington. And it has uh, a new frond coming up in the center. These kind have thorns on the branches, but they get really tall. The manager gave this one to me and I put this one in the ground. I want to, they grow about three feet every year and I want to see how tall I can get it while I'm here. Here's my pygmy date palm, the Washingtonia Robolini. bought this one at the store. It's really cool. They usually pot them in clusters. See the trunks all in a nice little cluster. Well anyhow that's my uh, collection of palm trees. My son he went to the beach and he snagged uh, a handful of Mediterranean fan palms which are in germination mode right now. And when I get those all potted, I'll show them to you. And anyhow, I'll talk to you later.